I hope Sweden's gonna be okay down there. I think they will be. Let's check uh, Novgorod's manpower. Novgorod. I always mispronounce it. Whatever. Novgorod. 543 manpower. But it says they have 10,000 troops out there. Hmm. And there they are. Well, Sweden has over 13k, so we're going to let them do what they do. I want to take these lands that I have claims on. Our truce with Norway has ended. We can now declare war on them. Well, I don't really want to. And uh, let's see, can we even make it over here? We can't because they have all these stupid forts. Oh, they do have a 12 stack down there. Hmm. But it looks like they're going to be busy with this fort for a while. Uh... I'm a new player too, Rose. I'm not actually really wanting to expand this way. I'm just sitting there for a piece... Shit. Okay, so they pieced out. Great. For this war, Sweden gave me 14 ducats. And one prestige. I guess Sweden knows his eight favors, though. Hmm. Well, that was a cool war. That really didn't do much for us. 14 ducats. How much money did we spend in that war, I wonder? And now how long until we can attack them? 1496. 10 years. 10 years. Okay. Well, let's see. Scotland... Uh, yeah, Sweden is my ally, except. Well, we can invest in new tech. That's cool. Naval morale will go up. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Do I want to raise these things? Monthly production income, sure. We do need money, so I'm going to use some diplomacy to... to do that. Because why not? take off the leader and now I guess we look over to Scotland how much money do they have that doesn't matter whatever what does matter though is their Navy because they just lost a war Scotland is down to six ships and those are just transports So what I could do Well for one we can do that We can finally uh, make a core there And we, we can declare war on Scotland through Norway. 
Uh, what's their armies like? Five thousand with ten thousand manpower. Hmm. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. What's our war exhaustion at? Where is that at? Oh, it's right there. 2.45. Hmm. Well, did we just go to war with Scotland now? Like, the problem is, is I have to split my army up, because I only have, um, don't I only have six transports? I actually have seven. Okay, I guess I have seven. I thought I only had six. Hmm. What's the strength of the Navy of Scotland's allies? Oh, that's a good point. Well, their ally is France. France has ten. Two heavy ships and two light ships. Ugh. How much does Norway have? They have one transport. No one will really join me. Minus 97 because of a distant war, and they're already war exhaustion, and they're in debt. Oh, man. So we kind of need to wait for France to be in a war, then. Is what I'm seeing here. Which kind of sucks. Because we're losing so much money. Oh man, the forts. Damn it. Actually, let me just destroy this one. Yeah. Okay, so let that tick. So we're at plus 1.46. How many loans do we have? <laughs> uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 loans. We are in a deep hole here. I don't know if we can get out. Do I have COH? No. Company of Heroes? I don't have Company of Heroes. That's on sale right now, isn't it, though? Two? Number two, right? Uh, so what does Chad think about this situation that we're in? We're deeply in debt. Going to war with Scotland I don't think is a good idea. Uh... Uh, because France is stronger than we are. And can crush us. And Holstein's still not a thing we can attack because of Austria. I need to nuke Sweden. I can't nuke Sweden. They're my ally. And I can't attack Novgorod for another 10 years, which is kind of like the one person I can. What about the Teutonic Order? They're not part of the HRE, are they? Uh, thank you, Melons, for following the channel. Right? What about these guys? Who are they friends with? 
Oh, the Livonians and Riga. I don't know what Riga is. Oh, it's right here. I need money. 60 military power. Sweden's opinion of Chilport is changed by plus 20. Or 2 mercantilism. I don't know why mercantilism is good, but any video I see about this game, people love mercantilism. It's this thing, right? Provincial trade power modifier. Wait. It boosts trade and income. Okay. Let's do it. Now you have 12%. I don't know. It's like it's gonna take us years to get out of this debt, isn't it? I mean, I guess something else is really happening. I would like to gain prestige because I think that's our mission, right? Gain 50 prestige. Lose diplo power, lose prestige. Well, we'll lose prestige. Um, we can afford another idea, which would increase our siege ability. National tax modifier would go up if we get enough ideas. I think that's cool. Our military tech is still four years out. We really need to get our admin tech up, though. That's what we really need. All right, so let's grab an idea. I don't think this is going to get us over this, will it? No, we need one more. So we would need to grab Grand Army. And then we'll grab, we'll get a National Tax Modifier. What about Moldavia? I don't know where that is. Moldavia. What? <laughs> They're so far away. How am I going to attack them? I mean, I guess technically I can ferry troops all the way around, but I don't know if that's an option. God, I need money. I really need money. Strippers are economic boosting. Those girls work hard. <laughs> yeah, do they? All right, let's just get this up. To, oh, we have uh, three free depots. Diplomats, though. Um, I really want a piece of uh, Novgorod. I'd like to get this at least. Because Sweden would be between me and Muscovy. Can I use Muscovy to get anywhere? I'm not sure. Holstein. I thought we were already rivaled with Holstein, or they rivaled us, I mean. Huh. Alright, well, let's just top off our relations there. I guess we can fabricate another claim in Holstein. For if the situation comes up where we can, um... Attack them because of Austria's elsewhere. Uh, we can top off with Castile... And then, how's England? We're at 91, that's still pretty high. How about Norway? Okay, we'll go with, with Norway. And we can annex them in... One year, actually. No, wait. No, less than that, that's like a month away. We can start annexing them. Oh, but they need to have 190. Uh, so we would need to... Well, get our... Damn, we need to get that up higher. I should have to get it to 190 at this point. Uh, repay loan. If I get some more money out of the nobility... No, no, it's this one. 
So they would lose 5 loyalty until 10 years from now. And their loyalty would go down to 35%. But that gets us closer... That gets us closer to um, more loan paying. So I'm going to do that. And if it, if it becomes a real issue, then we can just lose 5 prestige and grant them influence and loyalty. So that's a way that we can get out of that. Okay, so we're kind of close to paying off another debt. Man, debt sucks. See, when I was playing Ming, just doing some, some test games, debt never came up. Like, I was just over, like, 1k ducats. It was insane. This is, like, a whole other game. We don't really do much. Well, Austria is in a war. Genoa, Provence, Lucca, and Florence. Genoa. Where is that at? Oh god, that's small. So the territory is around here? So the thing is... As I was told, if they lose a war, which I doubt they will, but if they lose, then we can go against Holstein. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. But I was also told if we join the HRE, then Austria won't fight against us if we go to war against another HRE kingdom, right? So basically, I kind of messed up, didn't I, Miley? I should have created our kingdom on Sweden's lands, not Norway. But I didn't know. <clears throat> wow, what is this? Cool. We got the core. Alright. Very good. How is our uh, stability going? Are we fine? No rebels. No overextension. We're fine. No war exhaustion. Stability is good. Looking great. We can boost it up some more. But I need to increase our admin. Uh, another loan repaid. Great. What are we down to now? Look at that. Plus two. Six loans. We're down to six loans. We just kind of got to tough it out here. I need to be small enough for the Emperor to accept. Oh, I see. Whoa, what's going on here? Livonia is in a war against Poland, Lithuania, and Moldavia. No shit. So Livonia and the Teutonic Order are losing against Lithuania. Hmm. Novgorod no longer considers us as a rival. Oh. Well, okay. Hmm. So I'm not allied with the Teutonic Order, so if they lose this war, maybe we can invade them and take out what's left. Uh, take care of Sep. Maybe. Gain ducats. Catholicism gains reformed desire. Again, I don't know what that really does, but yes! Gain ducats! Gain all the ducats. Repay loans. I don't have enough money. Oh my god, they cost so much. So much. Ah, oh, okay, we're the rival again. Great, cool. Oh, you're right, Tomac, because we share the sea because of Gotland. You're right. We can fabricate claims against you, can't we? Yes, hello. 
Fort level three? Holy shit. Can I even siege a fort level three? Hmm. I wonder what's going to be left after all of this, though. Let's go with Ermland. All right. Take care, Sep. Uh... Well, you can spend some Diplo on this. More trade range. Uh, okay, that seems cool, I guess. Uh, but being up in Diplomacy increases our... Well, Diplomacy, right? Like, makes it easier to deal with other places if we're higher than they are. Well, we'll see what happens to the Teutonic Order after Lithuania deals with them. I think we got six more years until we can attack Novgorod, which we would want to. How's that war with Austria? That's already been pieced out. Okay. Friesland has accepted the offer from Austria to become a free city in the Holy Roman Empire. Oh, Friesland. We fought against them. There they are. And Lubeck. Man, everyone's just getting into this Holy Roman Empire, aren't they? Little punks. Uh, repay? We're getting there, people. We're getting there. We just have to do nothing for like 10 years. Let's go up to speed 5. Fuck it. We are literally doing nothing. We are just sitting here. Hey, we gained that. Okay, let's uh, go get another one. Uh, what else? Mamel. Let's go with Mamel. I like that name. Uh, yeah, Caprice, Sweden did get some of, uh, Novgorod. Those punks. What's this? National unrest plus one, but the monthly autonomy goes down. And 13 noble regiments rise up. Whoa. The cardinal administration will be removed from the Empire of Chilport. Shonen will no longer be a seat of the Cardinal. That's fine, man. Goodbye. Get out of here. Uh, hello, Ken. Uh, let's see. Shonen is now the seat of a new Cardinal. Oh. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay, so the Teutonic Order still has some territory. So I wonder... Oh, wait, what? Holstein has been discovered fabricating a claim. Oh, you guys suck. But if they declare war on me... Hmm. Anyway, what would happen if we declare war on you? Sweden would jump in. Livonian would not. I mean, they are allies, so that's fine. But we would gain help with, uh... Let's see, Rika and Livonia would not join as well, so it would just be us. How strong are they? How strong? Teutonic Order. Oh, that's Navy. Oh god, their na actual Navy's kind of strong. Stronger than mine. Am I going to play any more Dominions 4? Uh, probably not anytime soon. Hmm. 
Man, their navy is so strong. But Sweden's navy is really strong as well. So Sweden could probably crush them. I don't know. Something to think about. I can what? You can lower your interest with your papal points? National tax modifier plus 15%. Oh shit, what? Yearly inflation reduction, interest per annum. No shit. I didn't even know you could do this. Until 1512? Yeah! Cool! Very cool. Yeah, inflation's actually going down. We can make more military tech. We're gonna take it. What do we get? Cav shock, infantry fire. Regimental camp. Okay, well, it'd be cool if I can actually build some of these things. What's the next one? We gain the Lanschnet Lanschnetten Infantry, reform the Gallo Galoglai Infantry, and Condata. Oh, right. Uh, repay, please. Thank you. Uh, we have two free diplomats. Let's see. Austria. Yeah, we'll send one to you. And we'll send one to England. Okay. Man, it's really slow. Okay. We have an air, right? Man, Ferdinand Jaworski, dude, still on the throne at 54. We're still waiting for Lise to come in and, and lead. I really need those admin points, too. Man. When can I attack Novgorod? In uh, two years, I believe. Oh, wait, not Portugal. Two years. In fact... Um... I want to show that I want that territory. And also, let's do Holstein as well. Just so people know that I want all of this. And I want this as well. We're greedy, okay? What do you want from me? Holstein's opinion goes up. We lose 10 legitimacy. We get a tax income boost until 1514, which gives us more tax. I honestly don't care about Holstein's opinion of me. But which one is... I guess this is better. Because legitimacy goes up every year anyway. Can we uh, use... Uh, let's see. And that would be down to 30%. Sure. Why not? They still hate me, probably. Yeah, minus 139. They still hate me. Whoa! 
Holstein Nobles. Oh, yeah. Get fucked, Holstein. <laughs> but I can't attack you. Because Austria. God, I hate the HRE. This sucks. What's going on over here? Nothing. 